Mark Miller, Australian Immigration Minister, is giving very sensitive statements these days, and this statement really becoming a very popular all over the world. What is the statement? In Canada and outside Canada, this statement is being criticized, and people are talking that Canada immigration-wise is now going down. So, what is the statement? The statement is that international students. you come here no problem we will give you visa you study here and after completion of your study you have to go back to your home country learn the skills in our universities in your colleges just get your transcript and go back to your home country so this statement becoming a, uh, almost a like fire throughout the world and they are talking that immigration minister who is a very sensitive and uh, very sensible post that uh, this st statement uh, was being uh, discussed with the prime minister or uh, immigration department ircc senior officials because two three things you must understand now students are very sensitive there are four five steps they already taken very long already they are sending emails directly to the students now students are not studying they are thinking that how we will respond that email they are giving uh, uh, attention to colleges as well that give us data of the students and if the students are not studying we will send back we will deport 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 they are talking about and they are not talking about deportation of illegals they are not talking about deportation of uh, tourist visas they are not talk holders who are in canada they are talk, not talking about skilled workers they are talking they are not talking about work permit holders they are talking about only students and not uh, during after completion of their study during their study they are receiving emails i can understand some students are fake it's true immigration department no immigration department no all world no canadian citizens no australian citizens no some students are not genuine they are fake and they entered but this is also true that most of the students are genuine they have only intention to study in developed countries and they get the education there they enhance their skills and they get the work permit of that country and there are very uh, many examples in usa in uk in australia in canada these students become top professionals in hospitals these students become top engineers in in multinational companies and uh, i can give you so much uh, 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 successful story of these students that they were number one in discovery of digital media they were number one in discovery of pharmaceutical medicines they were number one in developing new technique of civil engineering they were number one in treating heart and lung surgeries these are the students who were uh, developing robot and they were came they were coming from europe and asia now okay i i left this topic i i will come back to the main topic which is my topic mark miller uh, respected migration minister went told now this is a, a rumor spread starting from india to europe and to other countries africa india pakistan national uh, nepal these all students main market chinese students are worried china you know it's, it's it's more developed than canada and chinese minds are very fast and you understand if us in australia if you you if you will visit australia you will see the buildings and when you will ask uh, who is the owner of the buildings uh, they will say chinese they they will, they will ask uh, australians no no australians are employed australian are employed mean they are doing jobs chinese are the boss australian citizens are are they are working with them most most intelligent nation most successful nation most hard working nation number one students come from to the canada from china china so if chinese students will go back and they will not work in australia and canada what canada will do canadian citizens will work no canadian citizens uh, require uh, uh, they are living canada and uh, and only very less population overall still is present in canada that's why they announced 1500000 pr in 3 years why 
because IRCC knew these are contradictions. Please, uh, the people who are spreading panic and they think that by spreading panic we may get more views, we may get more money. Money you will get by other way as well. Just speak true, yeah. Don't speak, uh, uh, don't desert uh, these young boys. They are the future of the world. We are living in 2024. Of course, there are some genuine. But what, what is genuine or fake? For example, one student is a young age. He is studying in Canada. What is the meaning of the fake? Please tell me. Fake means he deposited long documents in the embassy. Yes, why embassy did not check? This is my question. Because immigration officer is 50 years age, 40 years age, he is a trained individual. This, this young boy is 17 years, 16 years. He did not know. He wants to study in Canada. He wants to complete his education. No one is guiding him. He went to consultant. Consultant says, give us my case. I will deposit the case on, on your behalf. He deposited fake documents. And, and the embassies are more, I think they did more negative thing. Consultant deposit fake document. Consultant did negative thing, but but the embassy did more negative thing. What embassy did? Embassy did not point out that you deposit fake thing and he gave he gave he gave him visa. However, a little conversation uh, uh, will spreading conversation. Mark Miller current statement uh, regarding the students. I think it's not fair. If you will see the rules of all countries, I will tell you. And Mark Miller knows. IRCC knows. I think. Uh, coming days Mark Miller will revert it back from this statement and when new government will come all things will be uh, uh, after some days after some months all things will be on back track because you know these are little hyper created in Australia Canada especially for the students and there is only one reason that only some students come maximum students do not come I think if you want capping on students if I believe Canada want that number of the students decrease say 100 to 40 no problem but why they are giving news there is there any objective to give the news in the media that we are going to stop students students we are sending you email tweet this tweet is a disease I think so this tweet are decreasing the businesses of the countries one minister tweet we are sending emails to the students that we will deport you. One tweet from the minister, Mr. College, Mr. College, you have to give us data. Otherwise, your students will not be given visa. Provinces, check the students. If you will not check the students, we will not give you the quota. Okay, this, these rules are true. Rules are according to SOP of the country. But is there any need to tweet? Provinces cannot be talked by red letter. Uh, provincial Minister of Immigration, the Federal Minister of Immigration, Provincial Minister of Immigration, WhatsApp is on. You can talk with WhatsApp. You can write a letter. Then please check on students who want capping. Is the announcement is enough? Is this announcement enough that you study, complete degree, go back to home country? Anybody will apply visa student? Anybody who is in Canada is not getting work permit? My question, my question. The students who are studying in Canada, Canadian University, they will not get the work permit, number one. They will all get the work permit according to rules of Canada. IRCC, who is in charge, is respected Mark Miller, Immigration Minister. IRCC will give the work permit. Then where is the statement of IRCC, uh, Immigration Minister? Now another, for example, for example, IRCC made the rule because migration minister told, come here, complete the degree, get your transcript and go back to your home country. Okay, I agree. But what will happen? What will happen? Students, first of all, there will be 0.1% student visa application in the Canada. And this business of education in which you are charging 60,000, 80,000 for tetra time more fee. Penta time more fee, not, not the double fee, tetra time more fee, penta time more fee than the normal Canadian citizen. You will lose money, number one. Number two, these individuals, if they are studying in university and they will not be given work permit, and they will be called, please go back to your home country and use your skills. 
the Canadian, Canadian economy went down from 80 to 30. These students look at the past history. Who are the doctors in hospitals? They were students in Canada. Who are the top engineers in Canada? They were top students in the top universities of the Canada. Who are the top business people in Canada? They were students. Skilled worker, very less became businessmen. They are just laborers. Doctors, engineers are very less who are skilled workers. Mostly the students who stayed there four years, five years, and they are very well trained because they studied in the top institutes of the Canada with the top teachers, with the top teaching learning plans. And when they went back to the market, they knew the social interaction of that society because they stayed in the university and they stayed in that society. They worked in society when they were students as well during working hours, student working hours. Now they are in work permit and when they got citizenship, when they got PR, they became more useful than even normal Canadian citizens because normal Canadian citizens are useless. They are not. This is this is point please notable. UK citizens, Canadian citizens, which are which are by birth citizens. I mean they did not work hard to get citizen Australian citizen. They are not they are not working hard and they don't want to work hard. This is true. And that, that is the main reason. That is the main reason that students and skilled workers are the need of these countries. Canadian territory is very large. This is fake news that they don't have capacity to absorb the people. Still many people they need. That's why number of the work permit 1500,000 uh, PR they allocated for next three years. Why if they don't need people they allocated so much people. This migration minister, respected immigration minister statement is just for that. Students uh, apply less visa applications, they give less uh, visa applications and also the students who are illegals and non-genuine they must leave Canada but there are some other ways, he is right in the sense. Why not you are telling this one illegal and non-genuine students please go back. Genuine students who want to study here, they are following Canadian rules and regulations, they are getting good marks, we will give you work permit, apply the chance of the PR, we will give you chance of PR. This is the merit conversation. What is that like Donald Trump be emotional? Removal all undocumented, removal students from over Canada. Keep watching World Immigration News by phone. Thank you very much.